lung cancer research is very important because we know at the moment that there's very little investment in lung cancer research. Uh, what does that mean? Well, that means that we don't have the right treatments, we don't have the right diagnostic tools to make sure that patients are diagnosed early. And the result of that is that we see a very poor prognosis for this disease. We know, for example, that only about six out of 100 people will survive lung cancer for five years in the UK. So we need much more investment in lung cancer research. There is very little lung cancer research and we know that the investment is poor and there are probably a number of reasons for that. I think firstly that many people believe that lung cancer is a self-inflicted disease because of its obvious association with smoking and tobacco. So there, there, there's little sympathy for lung cancer uh, and as a result it doesn't attract the amount of investment which other common cancers do. I think secondly there's a lot of negativity around lung cancer because our outcomes are poor it's a bit of a vicious circle because the outcomes are poor it doesn't attract so many researchers or as much investment so we have a lot that we need to do in raising the profile of lung cancer and the need for much more investment in lung cancer research. So the research project that I'm currently working on is, is aimed at understanding whether we can do a blood test to detect cancer. Uh, the idea is that cancer cells will release substances into the bloodstream by process we really don't understand very well, but that we may be able to detect those in the bloodstream without putting a patient through an invasive test. And this cancer kills more people than anyone else in the United Kingdom. Uh, and I think both uh, government, funding bodies uh, and charities like Roy Castle uh, are, are beginning to address that and it's great to see. All of the research projects that we work on at the University of Liverpool um, really are aimed at looking at what's different between lung cancers in different people. Um, whereby we look at things we call biomarkers, but these are molecular changes between cancers. And we do this um, by collecting different samples from people, either tumours um, or normal tissue, or samples from people before they have lung cancer. And in that case, we focus very much on early detection of lung cancer. And the samples vary from blood to tissue that the pathologists and the surgeons take out as part of their routine care. So more recently we've been doing some work on breath analysis, so taking breath samples that might allow us one day to detect lung cancer early. Lung cancer research is so important because it affects so many people. It's one of the highest prevalence diseases with the highest mortality rates. And it's not just the people who get the cancer, but it's their families. So I think um, it touches almost everyone and I frequently um, meet people and you tell them they're involved in lung cancer research, nearly everyone knows someone who's suffered. I think that's really important it's really, and a big motivating factor for those of us who are in the research community. I think the, the lack of lung cancer research compared to other cancers is partly um, an emotive issue, it's partly that people are afraid to say that I've got lung cancer, it's not my fault, um, and partly because it used to be that we couldn't do as much for the lung cancer patients. So there weren't the types of therapies that could be applied. Um, the therapies we did have weren't really as effective as we'd like them to be. But I think that's changing as well. There's now more emphasis on trying to find the right treatments for lung cancer patients. And also the realization that we can find them earlier, if we can implement screening and find them earlier, we can do an awful lot more than we've heard before. So I think that is changing. I think there's more lung cancer research now than there was just a few years ago. Um, and I think other people have woken up to the fact that it is important. So we're working on a, what, what I think is a fantastically interesting research project where we're looking at the very earliest, the, the really early changes that occur in the lungs, which we think then mean that you're going to go on to develop lung cancer. Uh, and what we hope to do by identifying these really subtle changes is that we can both try and detect lung cancer at the very earliest stages uh, and also treat it, perhaps even before lung cancer fully develops. 
So our research, the, the vision for our research is that in the future we will be able to screen people, uh, perhaps with some sort of biochemical test, maybe a scrape of cells from the cheek or a small blood test, that predicts that they have a risk of developing lung cancer so that we would be able to detect it really early in those patients so that we can try and get all of those patients to curative treatments. So our research focuses on the really early changes that occur in lung cancer and I think this is really important because currently the majority of patients that develop lung cancer tend to present to their doctor quite late uh, and often meaning that they can't have curative treatments. So our focus has always been that we try and detect lung cancer earlier and we also try and prevent lung cancer occurring so that we can try and hopefully in the future the majority of patients with lung cancer will be able to be cured. So there is very little lung cancer research going on at the moment compared to some other cancers, for example breast cancer, which has a fantastic amount of research. Uh, and I think there are lots of causes for that. Uh, and that ranges from the fact that unfortunately lung cancer is a very bad cancer. So um, the lobby groups supporting lung cancer are quite small because unfortunately many of our patients die. Um, Traditionally, there also hasn't been that many treatments for lung cancer, so it hasn't been an area where people have been really interested to look. But I think that's really changing now. There's some great new treatments starting. I think the public uh, have a sort of a growing expectation that actually they will do better now if they get lung cancer and that they can look forward to some good treatments. Um, so I hope. Uh, in the future that lung cancer research will continue to grow and grow.